Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command. Mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people, Praise for all his faithful, for the people of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Glory to you, Almighty God, for you sent your only begotten Son, that we might have new life. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ, for you became flesh and lived among us, that we might become your people. Glory to you, Holy Spirit, for you direct and rule our lives. Glory to you, Almighty God, and to your Son, Jesus Christ, and to your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots a branch will bear fruit. The Spirit of the Lord will rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of might, the Spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And he will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees by his eyes or decide what he hears with his ears. But righteousness will judge the needy. With justice he will give decisions for the poor of the earth. He will strike, strike the earth with a rod of his mouth. With the breath of his lips he will slay the wicked. Righteousness will be his belt and faithfulness the sash around his waist. The wolf will live with the lamb. The leopard will lie down with the goat, the calf and the lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them.
those days, Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. It was the first time a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone went to their own town to be listed. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth into Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of the house line and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. Holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. As we gather remotely this Christmas Eve, I think we can all agree that this year has been nothing like any of us expected. It's been hard on all of us being separated from friends and family. There's been events that have been canceled or rescheduled. But through it all, we know this, that God loves us and is with us. And we give him our thanks now. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we remember this evening when Jesus, the light of the world, was born. We give you thanks for the greatest gift of all. May we share in the song of the angels, the gladness of the shepherds, and worship of the wise men. We thank you for your watching care over us. Heal the world from division and hatred, and open the door of love all over the world. Let kindness come with every gift and good desires with every greeting. Heal those who are ill. Grant them encouragement and healing mercies. Watch over them and guide them back to health. We give thanks for those who have recovered from the illness the world is currently facing. And we ask your blessings on those who have lost loved ones to it and other causes this year. Guide us in the coming year as we continue to be separated from each other. Grant us patience during these times. Instill in our hearts the desire to serve our fellow man and respect all people. May Christmas morning make us happy to be your children. And Christmas evening bring us to our beds with grateful thoughts, forgiving and forgiven. May we always know that you are with us and will never forsake us. Direct our ways that we might walk with you and enlighten our hearts by your Holy Spirit that we may be always thankful for such grace and be comforted in all trouble and temptation. 
through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one true God, now and forever. Amen. O oh Lord our God, we give you thanks for the wonder and love you offer us through the gift of our baptism. Your word made flesh among us, a child and savior born to us, good news of great joy for all. By the power of your Holy Spirit poured out upon us in baptism, let us be born anew from above so that we may show your glory in our lives and live as your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God of grace and truth, in Jesus Christ you came among us as a light shining in darkness. We confess that we have not welcomed the light or trusted good news to be good. We have closed out eyes to glory in our midst, expecting little and hoping for less. Forgive our doubt and renew our hope so that we may receive the fullness in your grace and live in the truth of Christ our Lord. Amen. Yeah. Christ our Savior gave himself up for us that he might redeem us from our sin and claim us as his own people. Hear the promise of the Lord. See, your salvation has come. You are a holy people, redeemed by God, sought out and not forsaken. God has poured out his Holy Spirit upon us through Jesus Christ our Savior so that having been justified by his grace, we might have the hope of eternal life. Glory be to God in the highest. We are forgiven. Amen. Okay. Beloved in Christ, it is our duty and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels, to go in heart and mind to Bethlehem, to see this thing which has come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us hear again from the Holy Scriptures the tale of the loving purposes of God, from the first days of our sin until the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. Let us make this house of prayer glad with our carols and praise. But first, because this of all things would rejoice Jesus' heart, let us pray for, to him for the needs of the whole world and all his people. For peace upon the earth he came to save. For love and unity within the church he did build. For goodwill among all peoples. And particularly at this time, let us remember the poor, the cold, 
the hungry, the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all who do not know the Lord Jesus or do not love him, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in another light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in this Lord Jesus we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words that Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now that we're in the same country, shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their sheep by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. Now there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace goodwill toward men. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let us pray for the life of the world. We pray for our church here in Ruidoso, and for our denomination, and for your church universal. With Mary, help us to treasure and ponder the gift that has been given to us, a gift of good news and great joy for all. We pray for all the world. With the prophets, help us to proclaim the promise of your peace for all nations, and your justice for all people. We pray for our community. With the shepherds, help us keep watch over those entrusted to our care and all who need protection this night. We pray for our loved ones. With the angels, help us to offer signs of hope, comfort, and joy for all who live in fear. We ask these things with joy, O God, confident in the knowledge of your goodness, and we ask these things with hope, knowing that our Redeemer is here, 
For unto us is born this night a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and in whose holy name we pray. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise, O holy God, creator and ruler of the universe. You created light out of darkness and brought forth life on the earth. You formed us in your image and called us to love and serve you. When we were unfaithful and turned from your ways, you did not forsake us. Your love remained steadfast. You delivered us from captivity, made covenant to be our sovereign God, and sent prophets to call us back to your way. In the fullness of time, you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Savior. In him, your word, dwelling with you from all eternity, became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. And we beheld your glory in him. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with the celestial choirs, and with all the faithful of every time and place who forever sing the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are holy, O God, of majesty, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Born in humility, he came to rule over all. Helpless as an infant, he showed the power of your love. Poor in things of the world, he brought the wealth of your grace. Rejected by many, he welcomed all who sought him out. In his dying and rising, you gave birth to your church delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. Empower us by your Spirit, O God, to be Christ's presence in the world, even as Jesus was God with us. Give us courage to speak his truth, to seek his justice, to love with his love to keep us faithful in your service until Christ comes in final victory and we shall feast with all your saints in the joy of your eternal realm. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, 
In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours, Almighty God, now and forevermore. Amen. Praise mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, small creatures and flying birds, kings of the earth and all nations, you princes and all rulers on earth, young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name above is exalted, his splendor is above the earth and the heavens. Praise the Lord. God of the ages, we praise you for all your servants who have done justice, loved mercy, and walked humbly with their God. For apostles and martyrs and saints of every time and place, who in life and death have witnessed to your truth. For all your servants who have faithfully served you, witnessed bravely, and died in faith, who are still shining lights in the world, we praise you. For those no longer remembered who earnestly sought you in darkness, who held fast their faith in trial and served others, we praise you. For those we have known and loved, 
who by their faithful obedience and steadfast hope have shown the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. We praise you. Keep us grateful for their witness and like them eager to follow in the way of Christ. Then at the last, bring us with them to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Through Jesus Christ, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Merry Christmas, my brothers and sisters. I miss you all and wish you the peace of Christ as you celebrate his birth. Amen.